In this uh, spring semester, we are going to have the pleasure to host an exhibit that we commissioned. And it's an exhibit also that marks our first collaboration with the Fondazione Cirulli. It's called Propaganda. Obviously, ours is not a celebratory exhibit of the fascist regime, but it's an exhibit that will allow you to deconstruct how propaganda works, to tear apart the mechanism through which, through an image, through a font, through a photograph, you're able to convince people to rally behind you. Propaganda, the art of political indoctrination, really stands at the crossroads between art, mass communication, uh, the economy, and uh, it provides a rich portrait of the history and society in Italy during the first half of the 20th century. Over the course of just three, four decades, the country moved from a constitutional monarchy to a totalitarian regime to a democratic republic. Throughout this whole chronological span, political propaganda was always present, and in fact, it was progressively refined, oftentimes anticipating the techniques of mass communication through the development of trade characters, symbols, mottos. The exhibition follows five main themes. First one is the cult of the leader, which during fascism was Mussolini, the Duce. Propaganda is not only a phenomenon of dictatorships, democracies too can see a great deal of political propaganda. In this spirit, the second section will explore some examples from the early 1900s and the years of the political debates between the Christian Democrats and the Italian Communist Party. In the third section of the exhibition, we will take a look at the world of business and how it interacted with the intervention of the fascist regime. And as a result of that, oftentimes these companies paid lip service to the regime. The fourth section of the show will feature the takeover of daily life. The fascist regime did so through youth organizations, groups for workers that could reunite after their day at the factory under the watchful eye of the regime. The last section of the exhibition will deal with political propaganda abroad. This was particularly, once again, the case of fascism, as it sought to convince the powers of the world of the good intentions of the regime. With this exhibition, we hope to uh, reflect and consider the political narratives that surround us today. With the rise of nationalism and sovereignism, we need to ask ourselves once again, what is the role that propaganda play nowadays? Of course, the mediums are different, but in terms of devices, of strategies, nothing has changed much. And I believe this exhibit is going to help us understand why.